All right, you guys, this is Raw Detroit, and we're back at it again on today. You know what we do on this channel. We talk prospects. We talk about ways that the Lions can get better in 2022. I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. Without you guys, none of this could be possible. Uh, definitely, guys, don't be stingy with the likes. Let's get those likes up to at least 100 on the video. Um, as we continue to rapid fire through a lot of prospects today, I got a guy that I believe is a blue chip talent. You know, he's not he may not be talked about a lot, but um, after the senior bowl, his stock is up and that's no other than Boye Mafe. Definitely. You see the measurements uh, on some of the things that he's been able to do, the measurables and stuff like that. But it's unofficial into the combine. Once you get the combine and if this dude is running a four or five, this dude could be taken in the, um, in the first round. Now, he's projected to go in day three which will put you around the fourth of the fifth round. But because of his performance that he had at the senior bowl, and his stock is pretty much flying up the charts right now. This kid can be drafted anywhere between the first round and the fifth round, anywhere in between there because of his play. Now, when he was at the senior bowl, he had two sacks, one um, fourth fumble, three tackles for loss. And the dude was just all over the place making plays. And a lot of teams walked away uh, talking about this kid and saying, man, boy, we may have to take this kid. And uh, he's very raw, very explosive, um, shows great burst, uh, quickness, has strong hands, is a versatile player, can rush from uh, the two point stand as well as the three point stand. And that's something, especially when you play in a different type of uh, defense in college. It's kind of different from, you know, because when you go to the senior bowl and stuff like that, they want to see what you can do different from what you were, what type of scheme you were playing in when you were in college. Like when you get to the NFL, there's no telling uh, what, what type of packages you could be in. You could be a guy that's standing up or you could be a guy with hands in the dirt. So they want to be able to see if you can still make plays from either position, you know, and the more you're able to show that you can showcase and you can do that. Well, ultimately, your stock goes to the roof and you get to play longer on, on the field. You know what I mean? You'll be a guy that can be out there for three to four, you know what I'm saying? Three to four snaps uh, as far as like uh, being all the way from uh, first down to uh, the fourth down. You could be out there uh, every down player. And that's what you ultimately want to be, a guy that is an every down player. And definitely, I think that this kid has uh, has the talent, man. And he he's a guy that I would have on my big board. Really excited about what he did in the senior bowl. And that just lets me know that it's a lot of um, pass rush when it comes to this draft. I think it is loaded with pass rushers, but you have to be able to go out, do the homework, and make sure you understand this player to understand, say, if you decide to go in a different direction from Aiden Hutchinson or a Kayvon Thibodeau, then what other guy out there that I could take that possibly can propel my team on defense and be the face of my defense because ultimately that's what I'm looking for, man. I'm looking for a blue chip talent. I'm looking for guys that are going to be a face in the locker room in Detroit. When you think about the Detroit Lions, you don't see anybody on Detroit Lions defense that scare you. There's nobody. Even when you look on the offensive side of the ball, there's not too many players that scare you in Detroit. So we need our Barry Sanders. We need our Calvin Johnsons. We need our Sue. We need all of those type of players. We need a player that's going to stand out and be a cut above the rest. And if I'm a GM, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking for a guy that's going to be a cut above the rest. I'm not looking for mediocre. I'm looking for blue chip talent. I'm looking for a guy that doesn't take plays off. A guy that doesn't take days off. A guy that's going to ultimately flash that talent every single week, week in and week out. You're gonna have to respect this kid because he's gonna be in your face and your grill every single game, making plays in the backfield, batting balls down, getting strip sacks. Th those are the type of players that I want to see in Detroit. This kid is uh, nimble on his feet, is able to chase down, just like you saw right there. It's able to chase down guys. As big as he is, you're talking about almost a, a 260 pound man chasing down running backs, man, and quarterbacks, mobile mobile quarterbacks or pocket passers or whatever. This dude has the uh, capability of doing that. 
flashes a lot of power, is great at the bull rush, and has uh, rips and cuts and different types of uh, swim technique as a uh, pass rusher as well. So ultimately, that's what the Detroit Lions need. A boy, a mafia on their team. They need somebody that has a relentless motor that doesn't stop, plays with that fire and that passion. Because ultimately, when you draft this season, you're drafting to get impact players. Because in 2023, most definitely and most certainly, you should be heading towards the playoffs. I'm not going to say that the Lions are going to win all of these games and they're going to the playoffs um, next season. If they do go to the playoffs, that'll be a bonus. The Lions have to get better day in and day out. How do you get better day in and day out? By doing and putting that work in in a draft and making sure your team gets better in the offseason. If you Brad Holmes and you're Dan Campbell, your job is to make sure and oversee that this team becomes more competitive, that this team has players that's going to go out there and fight. And knowing that is just knowing that it's just the beginning of what you're building in Detroit. So definitely, man, this is what I'm looking for, man, out of pass rusher. So I'm looking for that guy that doesn't stop. I'm looking for that guy that has great character on and off the field. A guy that is not a cancer in the locker room. A guy that is going to play with heart and passion. And I definitely think that Boye Mafe is one of those guys that I could take a look at. Got a great family history. And uh, this kid can be a special talent in the NFL, man. Drafted to the right situation and drafted to the right team, you can have a dog on your hands. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a guy that's going to be a dog. We need that guy that ultimately is just going to con continue to get better and is looking to get better. That's, that's definitely what I want to see. I want to see guys get better. I want to see the Detroit Lions get better as an organization. I want to see the Detroit Lions have the success that the Cincinnati Bengals is having right now. Drafting guys, all of those guys, a lot of these guys on the team that they drafted, man, is turning out to be great players on that team and ultimately at the end of the day that's what you want when you draft a Boye Mafe you're looking for a guy that's going to be a cut above the rest blue chip talent we're looking for premium talent we're looking for impact players if I'm the GM that's the only thing that's on my mind constantly every single day when I wake up and I thank God for waking up every morning. I'm thinking about blue chip talent. I'm thinking about ways to upgrade the roster. What positions do I need to fill? What guys are going to give me what I'm looking for? Because I'm ultimately looking to bring a winner to Detroit. And I know the fans in Detroit want it. We want a winner, man. We want to start winning just like any other franchise. We've been the doormats of the NFL for a long time, man. When is this thing going to turn around? When is this thing going to chance? When this thing is, 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 is just going to change? So when it comes to the 2022 NFL draft, it's filled up with a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent on defense when you're talking about pass rush. There's many guys that offer a lot of different things. But who is that guy from day one when he gets drafted? You know that this dude is going to be a game changer. You know that they're going to have to um, they're going to have to scout this guy every time he plays because you're like, man, this guy don't stop coming. A guy that you can respect like that. A guy that may have to be triple team and double team on the field a guy that motor never stops a guy that don't take plays off that's what we need in detroit so when it comes down to it guys this draft this season the only thing that is on my mind and the only thing that should be on the mind of the detroit lions is to find impact players 
this year has to be the season where you get impact players on offense and defense. You do not just draft all defensive guys. That would not be a great thing. And that would not be smart of you to do. To, to draft 10 defensive players. That would not be a smart thing to do. You got to mix it up. You got to go out there and get some offensive guys. Wide receivers. You got to go out there and get your pass rush. Go out there and get your linebacker. Go out there and get your safety. Double up on certain positions. If you got to double up on... Um, a safety, I understand. If you decide not to bring back Tracy Walker, I understand. It's a business. So, whatever we decide to do, it is what it is. But we're keeping it raw. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll be back to you again. I'm out of here.